Hey guys, how you doing? Zana Ferguson here, uh, tight end prop with Glasgow in Scotland. Can be answering a few questions today in sunny Glasgow. First question I got today is, who was your rugby idol growing up? Uh, for me, I was a number eight growing up, so I think, yeah, I liked, I liked Richie McCaw, the back row, you know, him, Jackling, David Pocock, Jackling, and then uh, the big ball carriers, you know, Pierce Spies was a guy I looked up to, you know, really physical, South African number eight. So um, in a prop format, when I moved there later on, I uh, had a lot of respect for you, Murray, and so it was quite cool to work with him later on. So yeah, I'd say you, Murray, for overall. Um, second question I've got is best moment in the Glasgow or Scotland top. Uh, for Glasgow, it was when we got to the final. Um, I know we didn't win, but it was pretty special having a home final in Glasgow at Celtic Park, which I was often a part of. And then a Scotland top would be oh, my first cap, probably. Or, no, my first game with my little brother um, over in America. We didn't get the result either, but playing for Scotland with my little brother was pretty special. Question three I've got is, is it true cows can't walk downstairs? I, I don't know if they can or can't, and they can't walk over cattle grid, so maybe. And can crocodiles really climb trees? Yeah, yeah, go for it, maybe. No idea. Good question. Any tips on how to develop as a good rugby player in a small country? Best thing for me would just be to do work on your basic skills, you know, that catch pass, work on your tackling technique, you know, foot in the hoop and all that, and um, make sure you wrap your arms. And then, yeah, just keep enjoying the game and that will grow, you know, kicking and stuff. It's not my forte, but uh, I'll dabble in it when I can. Um, a few chipping chases back in the day at number eight, but not any prop. Um, so yeah, just keep enjoying your rugby and working your catch and pass and just play as much as you can. If you could play any other sport professionally, which would you choose and why? I used to do a bit of mountain biking, believe it or not, um, when I was a bit slimmer and uh, I absolutely loved it. It was, it was downhill, so the weight did help, but it was harder to stop as well. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do downhill, my, downhill mountain biking, give it a go. You know, I've got a few mates who did it and got to see the world and stuff and it's a pretty cool sport so I'd definitely give that a bash in a different life maybe not after rugby because I'll probably, be, I'll probably be broken but we'll see how I go great question coming in now night out Ali Price or Adam Hastings well first of all they both would be on their phone and take so long to get ready that they're both probably not the best but uh, I'll go I'll go with Hasto because he's a good dancer and he thinks he's hilarious um, so he's always good fun but uh, they're both good guys and they're both good for a night out what's the best thing about playing for Glasgow Warriors best thing for me is we have an amazing fan base and Scotland's in such a great place to play you know uh, growing up watching Warriors and playing for your home club was massive for me um, and something I still love doing and I think uh, playing with my little brother as well is pretty special um, even though he knows me most of the time so uh, yeah I'd, I'd say that one do you enjoy having your brother at the same club as you? Ah, funny question. Uh, I do. I love it. Um, it's great to have him. He keeps me honest. I keep him honest. A um, few bickers here and there, but all brothers do that. But no, I feel he pushes me to do uh, to be better, and I'll push him, you know, and if he thinks he's had a good game, I'll probably give him an honest opinion and call him out, and he'll be the same for me. So usually we can become some quite heated arguments, but that brings it the best in us. So, you know, I love it. What do you put Scotland's recent upturn in form down to? Uh, I think World Cup was a quite a tough, tough tournament first. You know, we had a, pretty, a few pretty honest conversations afterwards and a lot of review and stuff as a, as a group, as well as a coaching group, I, I believe. So um, I think just got a great bunch of boys, got a lot of young boys coming through, a good mix of, mix of ages. You know, thinking about Sean Maitland, who's got his 50th cap. You've got young guys coming in, like Scott Cummings, who's been great for us and he's played the last 18 games for Scotland on the bounce so, you know so got a great mix there but I think boys just we're, we're a real tight bunch there's not really any cliques you can hang out with anyone and um, that uh, yeah this sort of shows on the pitch you know we've got a lot of trust in our, our teammates and stuff and that just lets us get on and do our thing so it's a great great team to be part of and I'm really enjoying it if you had to play for a Prem Rugby club, who would you play? Who would you like to play for? Uh, it's a tough one. You know, we had, had some tough games against some good Prem op opposition. Um, I loved playing away at Franklin Gardens. Uh, it was a really cool stadium, as well as playing, playing down in Chiefs when fans were allowed back in. Um, before COVID was pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool place to set up, but I couldn't play with Hoggy again. And but uh, too much hair gel. But no, oh, I think any Prem team, um, the one that pays the most. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> 
who would want to fight you or Matt? Ah, do I have to answer this? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think my, my weight advantage might play into it. I used to fight him, my other little brother Greece, and my other little, my other little brother Nathaniel. Um, quite often the trampolines would be three v one, and I used to come out on top. So maybe not now. My, the other two as well as Matt are a lot bigger, but uh, I'd back myself. Is the try scored against Italy the greatest try ever scored in the history of rugby? Maybe not the history of rugby, but definitely my favourite in my career. Um, yeah, I just couldn't believe I got it over the line. I'm so glad I put it down. Um, Scott Cummings was like screaming at me, put it down, put it down. And eventually I listened and got it down, but laughed about it after the game. Like, head coach was like, you're lucky you scored that, otherwise you'd be dropped next week. And no, I didn't. How can Scottish rugby nourish more talent from Perth, on, Perth northwards? It seems they focus on Glasgow, Edinburgh and the borders. I feel growing up in Angus, you know, um, up in Perth Way, there's a, there's a lot of great athletes and rugby players coming through. Um, that national rugby system sort of picking them up, and it's tough. But the main rugby hubs for Super Six, especially, are Glasgow and Edinburgh. You know, think about Stirling got Super Six, which is which has been great. But um, yeah, I think just the, I think there's still the the talent pool for Scotland is definitely bigger than it used to be. There's a lot more coaches going out there and even thinking about when I was growing up, there wasn't a specific, like a high development gym program in Dundee area. You had to go to Stirling for your sessions and stuff for Institute of Sport. And now they've got a specific one in Dundee, um, which is great and it's an awesome facility. So having been there, done a sessions before I joined with Glasgow, it's great to see so many boys there. So I think you'll definitely see a lot more um, Northerners playing for Scotland, hopefully. Um, definitely from Angus, the best place in the world. What, will, what would it mean to you to make it onto the Lions tour? Ugh, I'm not thinking of that just now, but um, yeah, it'd be pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie, I'm not gonna lie, lie to you, but uh, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, focusing on my on what I can control, and we'll see how we go, you know. Um, main focus is playing well for Glasgow, then playing well for Scotland, and if it comes, it comes, but I'm not putting my whole season on that, because if it doesn't come, I'll be pretty guided. So we're getting there. And then the last question I've got is... Rate the hairstyles of Oli Kebbell, Aki Sueli, and Tom Gordon in best to worst order. Uh, I'll go Tom Gordon for me is the best. Um, yeah, just suits him all that down to the tee, you know. Um, crazy Kiwi, um, some boy as well, and the luscious locks. He's been growing up for about three years, so it's good to see it actually come through. Um, and yeah, just suits him down to the tee, you know, proper um, proper hillbilly. Absolutely love it. Oli, maybe second. Um, yeah, the big, the big man, he's kind of hard to miss that bleach blonde locks, you know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, fingers crossed doesn't die again because he's, he's quite, he's quite a good-looking brunette, but we'll leave it at that. Aki, yeah, I don't know what he's playing at. Um, he's got spaghetti hair. Um, I think he dyed it himself. He thinks he's a great barber and he's absolutely hanging. So he's done a few of the boys, probably the worst page I've ever seen. But, nah, he's, he's all good. But, yeah, maybe not. It helps, it, helps, it helps you stick out to the ref, which I don't know why you do it, but. I'll get my black scrum cap, see if he wears it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for your questions. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, have a great Christmas. And uh, hopefully you guys can get to the game soon. Cheers. <laughs>